Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm a digital media expert. And today I'm gonna show you how to access your iTunes library over your Wi-Fi from your iPhone. All right, so first we need to focus on iTunes. So let's go ahead and open up iTunes if you haven't already. First we need to go up to the top left-hand corner, go to iTunes and then go down to preferences. Okay, and then you wanna make sure you're on the sharing tab and you want to make sure that you have share my library checked off and of course share entire library or if you want to select just a certain playlist but I'm just going to go with share entire library okay and then I'm going to go down to okay hit okay perfect okay and then there's one other thing we have to do in iTunes which is go to the top go to file go down to home sharing and then you want to turn on home sharing Okay, mine is already on, but uh, let me just turn it off for a second. Go back to file, go down to home sharing, turn on home sharing. It's gonna ask you for your Apple ID, okay? So you just wanna type in your password and hit turn on, and that's it, and just hit done. But we're not quite done yet. We need to go to our iPhone here, and uh, let's unlock this. Now what we need to do is we need to go to settings, and let's scroll down to music awesome and then you also want to make sure that you're signed into home sharing at the bottom down here okay so I've already signed in with my Apple ID that way it matches each other as far as my computer and my phone okay so I can close this out now open up your music app and wherever that is on your phone mine's right here music Okay, so once you have that open, you wanna to go to more on the right bottom side. And then you'll see shared at the bottom. You just click on shared. And then you'll see your iTunes library, which is right here. You can tap on that and it'll take a second to load. And that's basically it. This is all my iTunes playlists. So that's pretty much it guys, there's not much to it. All you have to do is make sure that the settings are correct inside of uh, iTunes as well as your phone and sign into your Apple ID. But if you do have any other questions, please let us know and thank you for watching.